And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, July the 6th, 2019. It was on this date, 1812, Ludwig von Beethoven wrote a passionate letter to an unknown woman who's come to be known as the Immortal Beloved. He began, My angel, my all, my very self, my heart is full of so many things to say to you. There are moments when I feel that speech amounts to nothing at all. For 200 years, scholars have been talking about the identity of the immortal beloved, whether it was Bettina or Josephine or Antony. Josephine was a woman Beethoven was very much in love with at one time. Antony was unhappily married. She met Beethoven in Vienna where she became ill and he played piano for her while she lay sick in bed. He wrote the letters shortly before she moved away and he never saw her again. It's the birthday of the author Hilary Mantel, born in Derbyshire, England, 1952. She had already written several novels and a memoir and a collection of stories when she published Wolf Hall in 2009, a historical novel about the life of Thomas Cromwell, the advisor to Henry VIII. She won the Booker Prize for that book and then won the prize again for the sequel, Bring Up the Bodies, three years later. One of the judges called her the greatest living English prose writer. Hilary Mantel, who said the most frequent question writers are asked is, do you write every day or do you just wait for inspiration to strike? I want to say, of course I write every day. What do you think I am, some kind of hobbyist? But I understand the question is really about the central mystery. What is inspiration? Eternal vigilance, in my opinion, being on the watch for your material, day or night, asleep or awake. And today is the birthday of the 14th Dalai Lama, born in Tibet in 1935 to a farm family. His mother gave birth to him on a straw mat in a cow shed behind the family hut. When he was two years old, a search team decided that he was the reincarnation of the 13th Dalai Lama. When he was 23, he fled Tibet to escape the Chinese army, which had brought the country back under Chinese rule. He fled on foot to India, where he's lived ever since as a refugee in Dharamsala. Here's a poem for today by Gerard Manley Hopkins, God's Grandeur. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod, and all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil, and wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness, deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, oh, morning at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with all bright wings. God's Grandeur, a poem by Gerard Manley Hopkins. And that's the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, July the 6th, 2019. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 